Good morning. Today we are celebrating the feast of St. Damien, priest and missionary, born in the year 1840 in Belgium. Even before becoming a priest, he volunteered to come to Hawaiian Islands. And after becoming priest, he once again volunteered temporarily to work with lepers, which became his permanent mission after that. And was, as we all know, he himself was contracted leprosy and died. He gave himself completely for the love of Christ, for the love of people who need him. So today, as we celebrate such a great saint, let's ask him to intercede for the blessings we need, that we might be able to love as Christ loved us. And we shall read the entrance antiphon. Christ, having risen from the dead, dies now no more. Death will no longer have dominion over him. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, the Lord be with you. Let's ask God to forgive our sins and to help us to celebrate this Eucharist. I confess, and you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary of our Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Father of mercy, who gave us in St. Damien a shining witness of love for the poorest and the most abandoned, grant that by his intercessions, as faithful witness of the heart of your son Jesus, we too may be servants of the most needy and rejected through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. We set sail from Tros, making the straight run for Samothrace, and on the next day to Napoleus, and from there to Philippi, a leading city in the district of Macedonia and a Roman colony. We spent some time in that city. On the Sabbath, we went outside the city gate along the river where we thought there would be a place of prayer. We sat and spoke with a woman who had gathered there, the woman who had gathered there. One of them, a woman named Lydia, a dealer in purple cloth from the city of Tyteria, a worshiper of God, listened, and the Lord opened her heart to pay attention to what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she offered, offered us this invitation. If you consider me a believer in the Lord, come and stay at my home. And she prevailed on us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord takes delight in his people. The Lord takes delight in his people. Sing to the Lord a new song of praise in the assembly of the faithful. Let Israel be glad in their maker. Let the children of Zion rejoice in their king. The Lord takes delight in his people. Let them praise his name in festal dance. Let them sing praise to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord loves his people, and he adorns the lowly with victory. 
The Lord takes delight in his people. Let the faithful exult in glory. Let them sing for joy upon their couches. Let the high praises of God be in their throats. This is the glory of all his faithful. Alleluia. The Lord takes delight in his people. Alleluia, alleluia. The spirit of truth will testify to me, says the Lord, and you will you also will testify. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus said to his disciples, When the advocate comes, when I will, whom I will send you from the Father, and the Spirit of truth will proceed from the Father, he will testify to me. And you also testify, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues. In fact, the hour is coming when everyone who kills you will think he is offering worship to God. They will do this because they have not known either the Father or me. I have told you this so that when, they, when their hour comes, you may remember I have told you. The Gospel of the Lord. Today in the Gospel reading, we see all three persons of the Trinity, the Trinitarian God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Though they are one God, three persons, a mystery. We often hear a lot about Father in the creation and in the Old Testament, how he chose the people of Israel, how he led them, to the promised land, how he was with them. He was their God, and they were his people. From the time of Annunciation until the ascension of Jesus, we see the second person of Trinity very active in our salvation. Jesus, who was God, he humbled himself. He became a human being, one like us in all things except in sin. He preached, taught, and told us how much God loves us, and he showed it how much he loves us by dying on the cross. And he was with the apostles, appearing to many people until the ascension. And today, Jesus is promising, I will send you an advocate. Once Jesus was taken up to heaven, the Holy Spirit, the third person, the Trinity, takes care of the church. The apostles were frightened, hiding. When they received the Holy Spirit, they become totally a changed people. They were never like before. As Jesus told in the Gospel reading, ye will testify, and you will also testify to me. Because once they receive the Holy Spirit, they know the truth. And they not only know the truth, they become courageous enough to speak the truth. Oftentimes in this modern world, we don't speak about Christ. When we ask people, why don't you talk about Christ? I'm not sure if I know enough. Or I don't know what the other person will think of me. But once we have the Spirit in us, once we receive the Spirit, we will be totally a new people, new person altogether. That's the same fear the apostles had. They were afraid to go out. They were afraid what the Jewish people would do to them, or what would be their future. But once they received the Spirit, the Advocate, they're full of truth. They know what is truth. 
And then they were courageous enough to go out and to be witnesses. Being a witness is the call that we all have in our life. Not just by our words, more so by our life, the way that we lead our life. So today, as we continue to celebrate Mass, let's ask the gift of Holy Spirit to be with us, that we might know the truth, and that we might be witnessing to that truth. We shall all stand and pray for our needs. For the Holy Father, Pope Francis, may the outpouring of the Holy Spirit strengthen and embolden him in his witness to Christ. We pray to the Lord. For leaders of the nations, may the Lord who erases all divisions guide their efforts in working for peace throughout the world. We pray to the Lord. For refugees, May God protect and uphold them as they seek security and a home. We pray to the Lord. For this, our faith community gathered, may our relationship with one another be strengthened through the grace of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. For those who have died, marked with the sign of faith, may God's mercy bring them swiftly to eternal peace and joy. We pray to the Lord. And for what else shall we pray now? Prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. <clears throat> Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. We shall pray for iron beers for whose intention this Mass is offered. We pray to the Lord. Let us pray. Loving God, we are confident in your zealous care for us. Please hear and answer the humble prayers we offer to you. Through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the wine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. With humble spirit and contrite heart, may we be accepted by you, O Lord. May our sacrifice in your sight this day be pleasing to you, Lord our God. Lord, wash away my iniquities and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that this my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Look upon the sacrificial gift we offer, Almighty God, on the feast day of St. Damien, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now do, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. 
lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, but in this time, above all, to praise you, yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of all to fulfillment in the reality of the cross. And by commanding himself for you, for our salvation, showed himself the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, we overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, was on in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke the bread, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Paul, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Damien, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, 
Look not on our sins, but at the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of Jesus Christ be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, which will be saved.
communion antiphon. Jesus stood in the midst of his disciples and said to them, Peace be with you. Alleluia. Let us pray. By the power of this mystery, O Lord, confirm your servants in the, the true faith that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which blessed Damien never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. We shall go in peace. Pray to St. Michael the Archangel. St. Michael. spirits who prowl about the world, asking for the intercessions of Blessed Virgin Mary, we shall pray. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. Amen.